Some major news has come out in the Man United takeover over the last 24 hours. The sale is happening imminently, but are the Glazers staying? Are the Glazers going? Because despite reports that the sale is happening imminently from very good sources, there's now reports coming out from Mike Keegan and other sources saying the Glazers could drag the sale onto October. But Qatar demand the sale happens now, so Jim Ratcliffe is willing to wait. But is this just a big Glazer game? Could this news that's coming out from Mike Keegan and Jamie Jackson today be put out deliberately by the Glazers in a final game to see if they can get more money out of Qatar? I'm going to talk about the news and what I think it might mean. But obviously Manchester United are on the verge of signing Andre Nana. He's doing his medical as we speak. In fact, I believe that he's completed his medical by the time this video goes up. But Andre Nana has already given his first interview as a Man United player, saying he wants to win the Champions League with Man United and more. So after we get into the takeover news, we're going to be talking about what Andre Nana has already said about joining United, because I absolutely love it. But I want to dive right into the takeover news. So it was said yesterday by Bloomberg, a fantastic source, a source around the stock market, a financial source. Bloomberg and Reuters are probably the most reliable sources when it comes to takeover news, because it's not going to be the general transfer sources. And they said the Glazer family is expected to, to decide on the sale of Man United imminently or opt to hang on to the club. Could they be opting to hang on to the club with the Anana signing, with the Hoyland signing moving quick, moving quick? Could this be a dis distraction for the Glazers to opt on to staying at the club? That's what a lot of people are wondering. But Jamie Jackson comes out with a bomb by today. We're watching the Leon game and all of a sudden news comes out today by Jamie Jackson saying new Sergio Ratcliffe is prepared for Manchester United's protracted potential sale to enter the new season if required and is putting no timeline or time frame on when the Glazers need to make a decision. So Jim Ratcliffe said, I'm willing to wait. I'm putting no time frame on this. But Qatar are not willing to wait. Jamie Jackson said that Sheikh Yassim bin Hamad Al Tani has become frustrated at the length of the Manchester United sale process. He's unsure about the Glazer family's intent to sell. Sheikh Yassim now having doubts, but Sir Jim willing to wait. Could the times have been right all along saying the delay is actually because the the other shareholders don't want it to be Sir Jim and the other shareholders are threatened to sue the Glazers if it's Sir Jim. Could Sir Jim be willing to wait because could the Glazers could be sorting out some kind of legal issue so they could bring in Sir Jim? Are the Glazers delaying it to get more money out of Qatar? Or are the Glazers delaying it and are they announcing they're going to stay? Because Mike Keegan has discussed the possibility of the Glazers staying. And that's exactly what we're going to be talking about in today's video what is the latest on the takeover i want to get into a few bits and pieces on the takeover i want to get into a few bits of news but first of all guys you know it's very conflicting the takeover news one source says this another source says that mike keegan has got good links to qatar lots of the times has got good links to surgeon ratcliffe you know it's very back and forth the takeover news and I, I have to say every bit of information that comes out with the takeover I still think we can't take it 100% seriously, but I'm going to share my screen with you guys and show you the news. And I apologize that I'm doing it in live stream format, but my camera's a bit dodgy at the moment. So we are doing um, videos in live stream format until tomorrow. But it was said the Glazer family will still be in control of Man United when the Premier League season starts. Mike Keegan comes out saying, you know what, the Glazer family are going to be in charge at the start of the season. But we kind of knew this because other sources have said, well, it's going to take a few weeks to get the Qatari or Surgeon Ratcliffe deal sorted anyway. So, of course, the Glazers will be in charge. But Mike Keegan said this. He said a well-placed source described the post process as a real charade, basically a big game. The Glazers are playing the big game. But the worrying thing that Mike Keegan has said to me, and Mike Keegan is the guy to listen to for the takeover. He has been pretty much spot on or along the right lines of everything, as he said, there is concern among those affected who wonder if the Glazers will sell. Mike Keegan has Qatari sources and his Qatari sources are informing him they're scared the Glazers might not sell. Some believe the process may well be put on hold. The prospect of an extension until the fall or even the winter has been discussed in both camps. So there's a feeling that Mike Keegan has sources to Qatar, that those sources he's got to Qatar have been also confident about being the next owner of United have now probably been told that this is going to go on to fall into winter and now the Qataris are getting doubt if they're going to sell or not why is this going on to fall why is this going on to winter we're about to be named an exclusive bidder we've been negotiating exclusivity a month ago and now it seems that Qatar have been told it's going to wait till fall so now Qatar are trying to say you know actually we're not sure if the Glazers are going to sell 
Now, this worry, this is worrying because there's a lot of reasons why the glazers might stay. There's more reasons to why the glazers should sell. Financially, the glazers should sell, and it makes business sense for the glazers to sell. But the glazers don't do anything that makes business sense. The glazers aren't good businessmen. They don't realize that their best bet is to sell United because they don't have the brains and the financial resources to run Man United well, so we generate money. Football clubs can't be self-sustained like they used to. You need sovereign wealth. So, you know, if the Glazers are thinking about staying, it's not a smart business choice for them. However, they might think it's a smart business choice for a few reasons that we're going to discuss. My hope, my feeling is that a lot of the takeover news that has come out is being put out by Qatar. Qatar are informing sources and media to put out this story that they think the Glazers aren't selling or to put out this story that they think they've won because the Qatar, from what I've heard, are just absolutely fed up of being in the dark over this takeover. So they are trying to get media to continue to put out stories to remind the Glazers the story is coming out and they really need to inform people on what is going on. But even though it makes no sense for the Glazers to stay, and even though I still have a feeling we'll get to Qatar despite the news coming out, here is why the Glazers might stay. Mike Keegan mentioned this. He said, with the new Champions League format and the Club World Cup format, the additional revenue that will come with it will be taken into consideration as will the relaxation of timeshare, which could attract other buyers. So basically, this is what I think it's, it is. I think this is a game by the Glazers. Basically, the Glazers are saying, oh, because of the new Champions League format, and because of this new format of football, you know, we might get bigger bids in. We might get people that put bigger bids in because the club will be able to generate more money with this format. Do you know what I think this is? I think this is a Glazer game, people. I think this is a big, big game by the Glazers, putting out information that actually other buyers could come in because Man United could soon be worth more because of the new Champions League format. Do you know what this comes back to? And I know I've been in a bit of a rant, but what I what did I say the other week? What did I, Who did I speak to the other week? The Glazers are happy, but not really happy. The, no, the Glazers aren't happy. The Glazers are content with Sir Jim and Qatar's bid, but they're not happy with either bid. I was told, and it came out by The Athletic, that the Glazers have Sir Jim's bid and they have Qatar's bid, and they're both in the same region. Four Glazers prefer Qatar, two Glazers prefer Sir Jim. But none of those bids hit the six billion threshold because Man United's not worth six billion because you neglected the club. You haven't looked after the stadium. You haven't done this. You haven't done that. It's a billion of debt. Of course, it's not worth six billion. But the Glazers are angry. They've not got six billion for United and they are playing this game. And this is part of this game. This news coming out as part of this game. They're going to put out information that new bidders might come in because United could be worth more because of the new Champions League format. This is a game to get Qatar and to get Sir Jim to up the bid. Every bit of information that's come out today that they're not, they're still going to be here at the start of the season. They might not sell till winter, till fall. Qatar, I'm sure, are having doubts. Sir Jim, I'm sure, are having doubts because the Glazers have put them in the dark. But I think the fact that the story always ends with all oh, the Glazers think they can get more money for United because of the new Champions League format says to me, I think all this coming out is a big game from the Glazers. I think the real delay is because the Glazers want more money out of Qatar. And what did the Athletics say? The Glazers know Qatar can pay six billion, but Qatar aren't going to give them the six billion they want because Qatar wants to keep their position of, of good businessmen. The Glazers know Qatar have the money. They are playing this game to see if they can get more money out of Qatar. I put my money on it. And it was said by Mike Keegan that there are now concerns with those involved in United sale, whether the Glazers will sell. Some believe that the process may well be paused. The prospect of lingering until autumn or winter has been discussed, as said earlier. Could this be a game from Qatar to say we don't think they, they, they want to sell the club? We don't think they want to sell the club because maybe Qatar know, and this is just a theory, but maybe Qatar know that they're delaying the deal because they want to rinse them. A lot of people are saying the, Gla the Glazers are delaying the deal because they want to rinse the Qataris. They know Qataris have the money. Maybe this report coming out from Mike Keegan, who has Qatari sources, maybe maybe this report coming out is actually the Qataris playing the Glazers at their own game. Maybe the Qataris are going to stop and out sources that we don't think the Glazers are selling. We're not going to wait any longer. We might pull out the race. Maybe there's going to be a lot of games being played because at the end of the day, Bloomberg said the takeover was imminent. But then we just get this confusing news. And I think games are being played. And I think the Glazers want more money out of Qatar. And I think Qatar just want it done. And Sir Jim is willing to wait because Sir Jim is an absolute fool. And I have to say, let me know your thoughts on the takeover. And hopefully we get some clarity soon. But I do want to dive into what Andre and Nana have said about joining United. Because believe it or not, Andre and Nana is very excited about joining United. He's not even done his medical and he went and did an interview saying, personally, I hope to win the Champions League with Man United. Andre and Nana also said, I am a person who always wants new challenges. Playing in the Premier League and for a club like Man United was irresistible for me. I really want to start this new experience at Man United with a manager who's a master for me. 
he, Eric, you know, Anana spoke about how he's excited to play with Eric Tenag, how he wants to win the Champions League with United, and he's so excited for this new challenge being in the Premier League. This is what Andre Anana is coming out and saying in an interview before his medical. And I have to say, I just absolutely love this from Andre Anana. You're not even a United player, it's not even your official interview. And you're coming out saying this. He says, he also said Andre Anana many things. He said that he obviously, you know, loves Inter. He's got a lot of respect for Inter. But you can't say no when Man United come calling. And you can't blame Anana for that. He continued on and said, I will go to a great league and a great club, which has a huge history, just like that of Inter. I will start from scratch and give everything every day to show the new fans who I am. And Andre Anana not even been announced, not even done his medical, but he's talking about his plans for United. He's talking about how excited he is for United. So while the takeover is uncertain, while the takeover news is this, that, this, that, and no one really knows what's going on, it's a game of chess, the takeover. I think Qatar are fed up. They want it done. They know the Glazers are playing a game. I think the Glazers are trying to delay it to get more money out of United. I don't think the Glazers' intention is to stay. I think the Glazers are going to put out that they want to stay. But I'll tell you what's not a game, Anana, his intentions are clear. He wants United. He can't wait to start. And I can't wait for Andre and Anana to join. And I do apologise that I am doing my, my videos in the moment in the old format. I need to fix my camera tomorrow. That should be fine. Uh, this is my live stream format normally. Unless you guys prefer the live stream format for videos, do let me know down below. But tomorrow morning will be five things we learned from Manchester United 1, Leon Neil. And we're going to talk about Amrabat and Hoyland in tomorrow's video. But that is your takeover and an honor update. Thank you for watching. See you next time. And uh, 